Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Factorio. In between the episodes I played for multiple hours to improve some situations. When I said we were gonna place hundreds of thousands of solar panels I was kind of speaking in metaphors and now here we are approaching the 100,000 solar panels mark. However, we are now more or less stable again and what I also did is I added this contraption here for the rocket control unit and it's basically the same thing we had for the flying robot frame. So it's our standard design here just bringing in the materials and everything. But man, this took a whole bunch of modules and also the domino effect finally kicked in. So what I had to do is I had to add yet another iron smelter on the top here because I still wanted to get the ore out of these veins. So right now we are effectively smelting up 12 entire belts of iron plates. Looking over the stations, iron is actually good at the moment. What we are lacking the most are copper cables from the looks of it. So I think that is what I'm gonna copy over next. Let's make our way over there. And now maybe just to see how much space we're gonna need, I'm gonna copy this over, um, maybe up to this point. Now I can paste it in once, there we go, and since my RoboPort isn't enabled, nothing will go wrong, hopefully. And then I think we're just gonna take those rails and actually navigate them all the way around the contraption here. I'm gonna make sure we build those rails first. This is only really a temporary line connecting a couple of veins to the system. Now we're gonna remove this center part here, get rid of that, and now we can just paste in the same design we had before and everything should be able to properly continue. Actually, there's one more thing we need to take care of and that is the rocket fuel. Yeah, there we go. This is gonna require a split here and hopping over. This is gonna require a split here and a continuation. Good, we already have trains arriving, but we can also add two more copper cable trains. Let me just go ahead and find one here. There you are. Copy that over and you guys can go. Okay, hopefully that is gonna take care of that problem. Now I just have to go back to the hub for the rest of the ingredients. Let's go ahead and do that. Wonderful, that's what I would like to see. Some electronic circuits in the joint. You can see I also replaced all of the systems as announced in the previous episode. So now we have enough chests to contain everything and we don't have any more stuck robots. What do you say, do we have some speed modules? Yes, actually quite a bunch. And I think we're also going to need some productivity modules to fill up all the machines. Yes. Yes. Yes! I just love this game. I love it. I mean, it's the only thing I play at the moment. Mostly because I don't have time to play anything else, but I do not mind at the moment. Though I have to say, oxygen not included is still planned, so that is probably going to start soon. And with that out of the way, copper cables are covered. Now, why do we not have enough Copper plates is the next question. Looks like we have enough raw resources. Also here we are smelting that up properly. Let's see, we don't have too many items in the station, meaning we're not lacking the trains either. So it could just be that we need an additional copper smelting facility, which is also a little pain in the butt. Well, I guess I'm gonna add it here on the top too. But first, let me clean up here. This is just a freaking mess. By the way, I also noticed the environmental friendly way of producing power basically eradicates everything nature in sight. Okay, well, with that out of the way, I would say we can get started with crafting the first science packs. We basically need six more crafting stations here with all the different science packs, and then that's gonna be it. Crazy. So all science packs, maximum production, and then we basically want to figure out what we need to fill one entire belt. Yeah, I think that's what I want to get started. Just one entire blue belt of science packs, which I believe would be 2,700 items per minute. For the red science packs, it's going to be pretty straightforward with just 20 assembling machines, not even requiring an entire belt of input. Gonna make my way over there. All we need is to copy a station. I think I'm still going to have the usual four stations, even though we only really need two stations. So we want to copy that over. You fit right there. Okay, gonna make sure this intersection here is completed as well. And wait a second, I'm missing some rail. Okay, we needed one copper plate and one iron gear wheel. Let's go ahead and set this up. I'm actually gonna copy it over from another station. There we go, two copper plates, two iron gear wheels. 
Seeing that we're only going to need 20 machines for this, I think we're going to do two lines. We also need two materials, so you would be coming in like so. Going to have a symmetrical substation set up and some lights. Productivity modules, definitely. One machine is going to produce 2.2 per second, so we can use normal inserters. One belt here and then another one like so. We copy this over once. The second one is going to be slightly different. Want to have an underground belt here and there. Science packs, I think we can stack up to 200. We should consider that with the power switch. So with 24 chests, we want to store 230,000 before stopping the contraption. Of course, the station should be named after the science pack. I just want to make sure this train can actually go back. So we're going to build this temporary rail section. Uh, please go back. Thank you very much. And uh, let's just go ahead and undo that. Okay. And there we have it. The first science pack contraption. This is also going to be the smallest. Let me tell you that. But if we check the ratio, it is almost an entire belt. Oh, wait. What's happening? Oh, no. <laughs> back we are with the power problems. Okay. Just trust me, at full power it is producing nearly a full belt. It's like 44.8 items or so. And that is going to be good enough to get us started. However, how is it going to be with other science packs? Let's just go ahead and add all the others. Check out what we need. For the green one, looks like we just need a couple more assembling machines. Yeah, so the green science pack one isn't even going to be that much larger. You know, I wonder, why is it we produce 44.8 items here, but in Factory Planner, this is exactly one belt? Ah, there we go. We actually need 21 machines. Hmm. Maybe let's just add two more in this case. Just gonna cut this out, paste it a bit higher up, and then get another one in the joint. Now we are overproducing slightly, but I'd rather make sure we can fill up an entire belt for the science packs. Time to enable this already, get things going, and then maybe if we're lucky, we are already gonna have a buttload of science packs ready for us. Also, just quickly checking whether or not the inserters were the right choice, and it looks as though they were. In this case, I think what I'm gonna do is copy over the entirety of the science pack contraption there. We're gonna paste it in right there. And maybe before everything goes wrong again, I want to make sure we cut off the line and get the right recipes. For instance, the name of the train station, we want to change accordingly. Wow. And then after this, we already have two science packs out of the way. This is great. Hold on. The green science pack is going to need, yeah, transport belt and inserter. So we do the same thing and we're going to be golden. There we go. The stations are already set up. I don't think we have trains for these just yet. Yeah. Ah, that's gonna be nice. We can add all four trains in one go. No, actually, I don't have enough wagons. But seeing that I need to make my way back to the hub anyways, I think it is about time we do that. Let me just wrap this up and we're gonna meet us back when we build the contraption for the military science pack. Sometimes there is a problem when I have too much of an item, then I would like to trash it with the logistics robots. However, they not always have a place to bring it. For instance, if this chest here is already full, no more items allowed, then it either gets placed into a random storage chest or it doesn't get placed at all. There's actually a rather surprising easy fix to this. We just copy the chests and have them placed next to the first one. The chest on the right side shouldn't be filled up actively, however, if we have too many rails and the robots need to store them somewhere, they can now be stored in here. So let's say I would like to trash the rails, they should be going somewhere. Actually, they brought it back to me directly. Okay, never mind, but you get the basic gist. So I'm actually going to do this for all of our storage solutions, just in case. And we shouldn't have any more storage problems. Now, I calculated the ratios for all the science packs. It seems as though everything is easy. The blue one is going to be the most annoying in terms of how many machines we have to place. And the purple one is going to be the most annoying in terms of how many input belts we need. However, I took myself the liberty of already preparing this. Uh, as you can see, it's not quite built yet. But the purple signs here is going to require four stations just for the rails. And then here for the blue signs, we will have to go quite high up. 
But other than that, I think we can get one entire belt out of each science pack station without too much hassle. And then that is going to be our starting signs, 2700 per minute. We're also going to need three rocket silos in order to do that. But look at that. This is also not going to need more than one belt. I mean, sure, we will have to improve on some of our productions, but still. Switching to the mega base has never been this close. So I think what I'm going to do now is prepare the designs we're going to require for each of these stations. And then I'm going to give you a quick rundown. It's not going to differ much from the stations we already have. So it's going to be the classic design with two belts. We're going to combine, for instance, these two materials and have a dedicated belt for the rails. And then for the white signs, it's going to be a little bit different. And this is where we are going to meet our spec. Namely, I would like to do some science here. So this is where we are going to have to unload the science packs. And then on the left side, I would like to set up the rocket silos. So let me just come up with the designs and I'll be right back. I wanted to set up the designs when I noticed something, namely we don't get enough uranium at the moment. We are barely processing any and as a result we don't get as much nuclear fuel as we used to. The system is built to take an entire belt here, however if we check back on this, yeah, most of my miners are now down. So I went to the next best vein right here in order to start digging that up. So we should probably use the outpost planner to do so. Yeah, we're gonna have our station here and then on the top we can have a station for the sulfuric acid we're gonna need. But let's go ahead and try out the outpost planner for this one. And theoretically it should also place the pipes and everything necessary. Yeah, there we go. That was actually fairly easy and straightforward. And then we have the extraction towards the bottom. We might even want to balance this so it goes right there and then we can have our station. Actually, maybe first it would be wise to set up the station at all and then the loading part. Wonderful. Just making sure we also connect this in a meaningful way. Let's maybe make sure to set up a couple of intersections. I would like to go over probably here. And then we kind of want to do a loop here with enough space for a station. And that one is going to be unloading the sulfuric acid. As a matter of fact, we should already be able to rename the station uh, hold on, if I remember correctly, we already have this programmed in somewhere. Like to build the batteries, yeah, there we go. Sulfuric acid, this is gonna be you. And we might already have, no, no path yet. We have to build the rails first. But this train is gonna be arriving soon. Gonna copy over the tank situation here as well. So we can set this up properly. Pump out the sulfuric acid. I just realized I'm not storing pumps and tanks in my inventory. That is a big mistake that we're gonna rectify right away. Let's get back to the hub. Um, let's see. Tanks. We probably want to have two... St oh no. 50 tanks. That's way more than I need. Let's go with 25 and then I also would like to see some pumps. At least 25. And there we go. Everything is brought to me. Wonderful. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, you bloody guy. Okay, 30 seconds passed. That might have been my bad. Anyways, all we need to do is actually hook this up. Ah, come on. Boop, boop. And we should be golden. Okay, with that out of the way, we are already gonna mine. That means we also need two trains for this. Luckily for you, I have some nuclear fuel. And you are gonna load... I don't think we have that set yet. Yeah, Dr. Horrible, that is not the station we want. We want to load, let's see, some uranium ore. Thank you. Train limit two. And I guess we could do something like this. Just continue this line here. And then somehow we have to make our way here. Um, oh man, this is only going to be temporary anyways, right? It's just for mining business. Main thing is it is built. And then I think we're just sneakily going to make our way back to the line like this bit of signaling and we should be good. Now we can actually load some uranium until full and we can unload... No, that's wrong. We want to unload uranium. Empty cargo. Wonderful. Copy this over. You already have some juice and well, you're just waiting for some power at this point, which I can provide. And we will be filling this up in no time and therefore we will also be good on nuclear fuel again. As for the second train for you, I'm sorry, I only have a little bit of wood and coal, but you shall do. 
Okay, great. That is another problem taken care of. Now I should be getting plenty of ore again. Let's maybe already send this guy over. I want to see it arrive and actually do its thing. Come on. Boots, 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 boots. Ah, there it is. Okay. And I totally forgot about that. I interrupted the line here, which of course was a bad idea. Come on, hurry up already. Thank you. And let's move this over and up at this point. And then you want to come over and join the splitter. Ah, oh, wonderful. I'm so grateful. What is this set to? 10k? Okay, that's good. We can probably store way more. That means the station is still open and this guy here is waiting. Already over halfway full. Okay, we're not gonna run into any more troubles. That means I can now finally focus on the rest of the designs. Let's maybe go to the hub quickly, check out this problem. Ah uh, yeah, I totally forgot to set the sulfur to the correct number and now I'm suffering for it because all of the chests are basically full of it. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is take dramatic measures and we're gonna just destroy a chest or two and these guys can finally complete their mission. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna destroy as many chests as is necessary to get rid of these items here. Okay, looks like we're done now. Now we also have train without fuel, which was a result of me not having enough nuclear fuel, but you can see uh, we do have plenty of reserve still. But then these guys actually deliver all the way to the end of the line where we don't have any nuclear fuel just yet. And it looks as though this is still gonna take a while because we had this huge interruption that I didn't realize is happening. Yeah, right up to this point, I guess it's all the science packs. Just the past couple of hours I played. So I'm gonna go ahead, fuel these guys up manually and then we'll see us back when we are done with all the designs. I'm gonna do them the same way for all of them. So there are gonna be two rows of assemblers and beacons until we have as many as needed. Alright guys, I think I finally did it. We now have all the stations. I decided to go for a different layout for the ones that require lots of crafting machines because I wanted them to be approximately the same height. And now each of these stations is going to produce 2,700 signs. Whenever we want to double up on that, we need to build all of these stations over again. That's going to be interesting because we basically need to copy this over and then build it once again on the top. Or we do each one individually. Not sure if I want to keep them at the same height, to be honest. But it would be nice to have a unified design for the signs output so we always have the same amount of signs. Now somewhere I'm still missing a couple of modules but for the most part we are ready and I decided to build those two crafting stations the same way. I oh know, looks like we have a bunch of attackers. Where are they coming from even? Oh no, look at the freaking pollution. It goes all the way up here so I'm guessing that is our culprit. You know, I have to take care of that immediately otherwise they're gonna keep on destroying my stuff. Look at this freaking bastard. You're disturbing my peace. Don't destroy my beacon! No, you bloody Ah, uh, there you go. Okay, well, at least everything is fixed immediately. Okay, I'm gonna be taking care of those nests in due time. Right now, I would like to wrap up the episode by actually starting up the remaining science pack contraptions. And then in the next episode, we can finally get to Megabase research. Here we go. I prepared everything except I forgot the freaking lights for this one. Oh no. So we can fairly easily rectify this issue. Okay, with the light, let's now get this started. All of these guys should be connecting and then all of these guys as well. And here we go. We have all the materials. It should be sufficient. At the moment, we of course get the fused materials here at the back. But this is going to be solved by earlier lines actually backing up. Because if we check the contraption, then we shouldn't be using that many furnaces. We are using quite a bit of rails though. And just like that, we get a full belt of science packs. And we get that for all the science packs. And that essentially means 2700. So let's do the same exact thing with the last science pack. I decided to go with the same design, even though we don't need quite as many low density structures as we do rails. But I figured the recipes are quite similar and it worked out for the previous design. So if everything works out in just a second, we should also be getting a full belt of yellow science packs. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Looking very, very good. 
And with that out of the way, we only need to do the white science packs. But we're going to do that in the next episode. I might want to fix my trains. I'm still suffering a little bit from the backlash right here. I'm still accumulating the nuclear fuel. So every now and then I just have to manually fuel them up. But yeah, with that out of the way, I would say we're gonna catch us in the next episode where we are starting the science contraption. We will also start to launch the rockets again. And as of this point, we will be doing research much, much faster. This essentially also means this is the entirety of the factory. We're not going to be expanding more towards the left or the right. We're only going to be expanding towards the top and the bottom whenever we need more of an item. And we're probably going to start by tapping into many resources, doubling up on the amount of resources we can ship. We are going to copy over more smelter designs and then everything we require. But for the next episode, I really would like to take care of the rockets on this side and the research on this side. With that out of the way, thank you so much for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.